GM and welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're taking a look at Pith Network. This is an Oracle provider. And in this video, I'm gonna to describe to you what that is very briefly. And we're gonna go into the staking of this token and potential airdrops as well. So lots to cover. Timestamps will be present down below. So skip ahead to whatever part you require and make sure you do subscribe if you're new. Let's jump in. So I'm pretty sure you would have heard of Chainlink if you've been in the crypto space for any length of time. That is the number one Oracle provider in the crypto space. What is an Oracle though? And what is Pith? So Pith essentially is the number two Oracle in terms of the integrations it has with a load of teams, as you can see at the bottom of the screen here, all those names running across the bottom. But what do they do? They essentially provide off-chain data and make it available on chain to actually power smart contracts. So smart contracts are not very smart unless they have correct data. So this data sourcing is done by the likes of these Oracle networks, Chainlink number one, number two being Pith Network. There are of course more providers than that in the ecosystem, but just as a basis, you can kind of think of Pith as being an alternative to Chainlink. Now what we're seeing in the industry right now, which is very good for us as end users, is a lot of airdrops. So the token get to market kind of strategy for most teams now to probably avoid regulatory scrutiny is to airdrop tokens or at least points. And what we're seeing with Pith Network here, they have hundreds and hundreds of partners, a lot of which don't actually currently have tokens. And recently we've seen this, the first confirmed airdrop. So is this the first of many or is this one and done? We don't really know, but I suspect there will be more Pith based airdrops for those staking Pith. Plus also participating in governance, which we'll go into. So Zero Lend was the first one just announced a couple days ago. And what's interesting here is the fact that Pith obviously operates across different chains. It's not a Solana only kind of project, although we'll be staking it on Solana today. And so these other projects it's touching within its network could be on different chains. So you may end up getting airdrops on different chains that you're not even currently on, which is kind of interesting and shows you the spectrum of rewards that could actually come from this. Again, none of this is financial advice, just speculating on the future outcomes here, but I do think it is likely. So how do we stake these tokens. Again, I'll leave all the links to this in the description down below, but I would suggest actually bookmarking these links. So I'll leave a bit of a running order down below for you. So this is the staking.pith.network website. And as you would expect, this is where you come and stake the Pith token to actually be able to participate in governance. I'll also leave this website down below because I did receive the Pith token itself via an airdrop, which was very welcome. Now this website listed down below for you guys, if you just come in, you don't have to connect your wallets, just drop in here your Solana based wallet address, click check and it will let you know if you did get any Pith tokens in the airdrop down there. And if you have followed along with the channel since last summer, you may well have actually got some tokens, so worth checking out. If you haven't got some tokens and you would like to buy some, check out Jupiter Exchange here, and here you can convert a balance that you may have on Solana into the Pith network token. Pretty simple stuff, I'm sure you can get that covered. Now back to the staking application here, on screen it does tell us one thing, the epochs for this chain are every single seven days. So within the governance structure here, they have this kind of seven day rolling period. So if you do stake your tokens, they need to be in prior to the new epoch starting. It starts every Thursday. And if you did want to unstake, it will take seven days to actually unstake them to ensure that you are in for a full epoch. So those are the kind of nuances here. And as you can see, we have a balance on screen as that was the airdrop amount that came to me. So very simply, all you would have to do if you have some tokens on hand, you connect your wallet to this website and then you will see your balance here. And then you just need to decide how many tokens do you wish to stake. And it comes up with an easy click method of half or max balance. And I'm gonna stake the full max balance. This was a welcome airdrop, didn't really expect it. And so I'm happy to just stake these tokens for the long haul and see what happens as a result of this. And thank my lucky stars that Pith gave me an airdrop. So literally we just click the big purple button that says stake and then in the wallet, all you then have to do is ensure you're logged into it and then confirm the transaction. 
So after waiting just a few seconds, you will see your stake balance is now confirmed up here. And it does say these tokens will be staked from the beginning of the next epoch. So this will be from the following Thursday. They will then be live on the network and I can participate in governance. So this is the next thing to do. Click on governance. So the idea behind staking a token is to help validate transactions on the network and also participate in governance. So I would imagine if there are to be like additional brownie points for airdrop users, they're probably likely to want to reward people who have actually participated with governance. So on here, what you'll be able to see is a load of different proposals on this network. Now there are none currently available to actually vote on, but if we just click into one, on the right hand side, this voting tab will be live. So if there is a live vote, you'll be able to click yes or no for the various discussion points with your wallet connected and cast your vote. It's gonna cost you a tiny bit of soul, but that is all. But that is what your tokens being staked allows you to do to have your say in a democratic manner on this network. So if there are any actual votes that become available to get involved with, follow me along on Twitter at CryptoTubeYT and I'll post updates on there so we can get involved with this. So we've staked some tokens, we've checked out the governance forum, we'll wait for the next vote to get involved with it. But is this token bullish or bearish? Well, as I did mention earlier, as you can see, this is the lay of the land in the Oracle markets. Chainlink is number one, market cap over $10 billion. But position number two there, Pith Network, around $750 million. Now on screen, just above my head, you can see what happened price-wise here. So this token was airdropped to participants. On the left-hand side, you can see 1.5 billion tokens distributed out of 10 billion total supply. Initially, there was a bit of a dump at the start of this trading, and it just continued to go down and down and down and down until those who were wanting to sell their Pith tokens had done so. At this point, sellers were exhausted, and now we have a bit of a bottom that formed, and it started to put in higher lows here, and does look like a pretty damn good chart. Now, with the advent of staking for airdrops, like we've seen the first airdrop now being confirmed, this is why the price point is starting to tick up. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. You found this informative and educational. Drop me a comment down below if you're going to get involved with this. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.